Hey guys, it's uh, Simon here from Soccer Training Central. Just putting together some videos for you to um, with some different drills that you might want to run when you're um, when you're at soccer training. So this one um, is you may have done it before. It's a little bit like sort of piggy in the middle or monkey in the middle that uh, you may or may not be um, familiar with. But um, there's sort of five key areas that this this one helps you with. So first of all, it's around your passing accuracy. So just making sure that you're hitting the mark uh, and you're getting the ball there quickly. Second is, as far as receiving the ball, it's around your control, so your ability to control the ball straight away and to get rid of it, um, again, relatively quickly, particularly in sort of a tight, uh, confined area. The third area is really around um, focus on keeping possession. So the guy in the middle, is, you know, it's his job to try and get the ball from you. So um, the really strong focus around maintaining and keeping possession, which is obviously a key part of winning football matches or soccer match. Um, number four is really around movement off of the ball. So one of the key things that I try and teach the uh, my daughter's soccer team is around um, you know, once you pass the ball, don't just stand there. You need to look to see um, what else can I do? Uh, can I help the person who's got the ball? Can I get into space and get an opportunity to get the ball back? So it's about movement off the ball. And the fifth thing that this is going to help with is actually uh, is also conditioning and, and your soccer fitness. So. Um, so you can see here there's a triangle, so you got there's two people on the outside, so we've got one, two, there's a third cone down here, but there's only two people on the outside, and there's a third person who's in the middle, and they're really the defence. So the idea is that you can only pass to a cone, um, I, can't, so I can't sort of shoot across the triangle as it were. Um, so if we start with the ball on one, they can either pass the ball over here, or they can pass the ball here. So depending on where the defender is, if the defender moves uh, over this way, then it's this the job of number two here to be able to run in this direction over here, at which point uh, number one passes the ball over. Okay, so now number two is over here with the ball. Now um, uh, then two has either got to pass the ball back uh, back this way, or can actually pass the ball this way. Now this let's just say for argument's sake that uh, the defender comes over to this spot here. It's then up to um, this guy. He's got to run over to this point here. And number two then kicks the ball over that way. So you, can, you sort of get the idea. It's got to be two a cone, um, but it's really around. So as fast as the uh, number three, the guy in the middle can work, he's got to be uh, running and trying to cut off the pass. And it's up to the uh, attackers on the outside to be constantly moving and supporting the other guy with the ball, or the other girl with the ball, to make sure they've got somebody open to pass to. So as I said, that those sort of five things that we're looking for, number one is around passing accuracy. It's no good if I pass the ball and it comes out here, you know, you've lost the ball. So it's around passing accuracy. Uh, number two is the ability to control it. So when the ball comes to me, my ability to be able to control it straight away and then to get a pass off. Um, third is around um, keeping possession. Um, so as the attacking side, we want to make sure we've got the football as much as possible. Fourth is around movement off the ball. So once I've passed the ball, what am I doing? I, I want to try and give the other person um, an option for, for them to pass it to somebody else. And it's great for me because I get the ball again as well. And the fifth thing is, obviously, if you're playing this, um, you believe me, you get a lot of uh, a lot of running around and it's really going to help with your, with your soccer conditioning and your soccer fitness. Uh, anyway, it's, it's a great little um, uh, soccer drill that you can uh, practice at training. You can do it with the three cones. You can also try it um, with four. Um, so in that instance, if you've got four um, cones, um, like this, then you'll have actually um, three on the outside. Okay, and then you'll just have... Um, you can also, so you might have... Um, Sorry, I'll make that a four. So if you're doing it with four cones, you might have two defenders um, in the middle, which makes it a little bit harder. But the same sort of idea, um, whoever's got the ball, they've got to pass it only to a cone. So in this instance, if one's got it, three would have to move over to this area here. So he's over here, which then gives the person with the ball here an option of kicking it here or here. So a similar sort of approach. But anyway, definitely worth something that you should, uh, definitely worthwhile trying this one uh, at soccer training.